Thanks for having me. I, I, can you hear me okay? I think this seems to be working, okay? Okay. This works as well. Fantastic. Well, thanks for having me. Um, I'm Will Crispin, CEO and founder of Bauhaus. And um, when I started in, uh, on this journey of like starting Bauhaus, um, I had a pretty simple goal. I wanted to bring better homes to more people. And uh, when I look at what a better home, what makes a better home, it's like it has to be sustainable, it has to be efficient, it has to be well built, it has to be functional, it has to be human centric, it has to be modern, and it has to be beautiful. Seems pretty simple. Well, I started first by looking at like what stands between me and that goal right now. And it's really the structure of the construction industry today. Structurally, the construction industry is a collection of service businesses. And as a service business, you work on isolated projects. You don't really know what's coming your way. And every service provider in the construction industry has their own operating model, has their own way of working, their own software, their own solutions. And because of that, it's very hard to like bring any holistic learnings in there. There's no way to really cross-pollinate or cross-learn. Um, cross There's really no way to bring any kind of holistic learning. So we went about and wanted to change this. And we're doing this by partnering with world-class architects and take their best projects that were built for a select few customers with a big budget and we're turning them into repeatable products that are well-defined, that are simplified, and that are for a much bigger audience. And what you see here on the screen is actually uh, our first project that we are transforming into a product, and that's by Feldman Architecture, a San Francisco-based architecture firm. Now, how do we do it? Well, there's three steps to this. We're really rethinking the entire process of building a home from the ground up. And it starts with the partner, but it, um, it doesn't just start with just us talking to the architect. We're actually bringing in everyone involved in the project, and we're collecting feedback. We have the prototype, so what are we gonna do about it? What can we do better if we do it again? How can we simplify it? How can we streamline this? I'm gonna just do it like this, and I hope you hear me. Um, that's, the people in the back can maybe hear me when I speak louder. I'll, I'll give it a shot. Or maybe we'll try this, I don't know. Um, well, first, we bring every, everyone who was involved in the project together, and we're figuring out what can we do better if we were to build it again. What are the learnings that we have? A product retro that seems pretty straightforward for most industries, for the construction industry that's new. And we're collecting all of these learnings in what we call our rule book, which you can think of as like a better baseline for the architect to create this new version of their already existing home. The second thing is what we call the spin cycle. This is where we take those already improved plans, but we're further optimizing them for constructability. We're making all the decisions up front, we're figuring out which materials, which vendors, which partners we are working with, and what you're getting out of this is effectively the IKEA instruction manual for the contractor. No ambiguity, no change orders. And this is not just a one-time thing. We wanna get better at this and grow our library of products over time, work with more architects, introduce more options, but that's in the future. Now at this point, a lot of companies jump to methodologies. Oh, let's introduce 3D printing, or let's uh, do off-site construction or prefabrication. We on purpose don't do this. We're actually building and executing the construction by bringing in key people in-house and by working with contractors, and we're actually executing it like you would normally execute it, with one key difference. We're tracking every single step. We're figuring out where the inefficiencies are, where we can do better, and that becomes the foundation for what we call informed innovation. We will only introduce new methodologies when we know they will have an impact. And all of this together becomes a product iteration cycle. Every time we're executing a build, we're going back and we're figuring out what are our new learnings. We're having a growing and evolving knowledge base. We're figuring out how to turn plans into products better and better over time, and obviously, Based on data, we can introduce new technologies. Now, before you get disappointed that we're not building a 3D printing robot, we're actually really excited that by doing what we're doing, we can save 25% of the construction costs when compared to a one-off worst custom home. It comes in three buckets, the biggest one being design, 
planning 60%, and we're already aiming to reduce the actual on-site construction cost by 10%. Now, we're not selling this to individuals, because we need repeatability and we need scale to actually get those learnings. So we're instead partnering with um, developers to build what we call the 21st century version of Eichler neighborhoods. If you're in the area, you might be familiar. Our homes won't be cheap, and this is very much a strategy for now. We're looking at two to $2.5 million today, which is pretty competitive with luxury home builders like Toll Brothers. Uh, and over time, we want to reduce the cost and attract a bigger audience. Think of this as the Tesla model. This is gonna be the roadster. We wanna have the model free over time. The team today, I'm not a three-year-old company. We're about six months old. It's myself and my co-founder, Jeff McKay. He was five years at Katera. Before that, he managed construction projects for Stanford, and before that, he built ships at C-SPEC. So he's the expert. We're right now raising $3.4 million, which will get us to the first actual constructed home. So the biggest ticket item here is actually building the home, but it will be something that you can actually like touch, feel, and live in. And uh, furthermore, it sets us up to scale to actually work with uh, developers. And that's where we stand right now. I know I tried to keep this a little shorter, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Awesome. Thank you, Will. Uh, we won't be taking questions today as uh, we're running a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. So next up, we have uh, Gal Rosenby. And uh, as he makes his way to the stage, I'll uh, give a little information on him. He's the CEO and founder of Form X. Uh, this presentation. Then. Thank you. Come on stage. Awesome. While he's giving your presentation up, you can introduce yourself. Here. All right, great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 